So it is a historic deal. It's the first trade deal that we've uh, delivered as a nation from scratch. Uh, in decades, it's a really exciting, deep, uh, full trade deal with Australia, who are obviously one of our closest allies and friends, uh, and it reaches across a breadth uh, of sectors. It's so it takes away all the tariffs on goods. So all of our uh, manufacturers who want to export goods can do so uh, without tariffs now, from you know shoes to cars to uh, wind turbine blades, so many, so many things. So we have created a really strong set of protections uh, from any risk that I think some uh, farmers have raised uh, could be the case, because that's what we heard very clearly. We've made sure that would be the case. The reality is that Australia uh, sends about 70% of its uh, beef and sheep meat to the Asia Pacific markets. A, they're closer for them uh, and they get great prices. So I am not expecting there to be any uh, sort of dramatic surge into the UK markets uh, and I know that our citizens will uh, continue to buy what they want but I'm very pleased to do uh, things that will open up consumer choice. So the uh, disruptions uh, in trade that we've seen over the last couple of years uh, and certainly in the last uh, years the stats come through are in large part due to COVID, supply chains, the closure of great areas of business. So, you know, some of the uh, exports of amazing British foods, for instance, to, you know, French restaurants got shut down because French restaurants were closed. These things are opening up and we're seeing uh, a, a reversion to the sorts of levels of trade uh, in many of these areas. Those, those have been really difficult issues and the supply chain uh, disruptions that everybody has seen, not just the UK, but across the world, uh, is something that we are all certainly getting grips with and we hope very much will be back to normal in 2022. Uh, but those uh, opportunities for export are ones that I will be championing and helping my businesses across the UK to make use of, with the FTAs being the opportunity for them to discover new markets that they haven't sold into before. Okay.